The holidays are a time to feel and create joy. And what could be more joyous than the look on her face as she unwraps a stunning new jewelry piece from Blue Nile? How about getting 50% off your purchase? Blue Nile offers premium quality, priced below traditional retail. Their online experts are available 24-7 to answer any questions and make sure you've picked the perfect gift. For a limited time, you can get 50% off at BlueNile.com. That's 50% off at BlueNile.com. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Tired of ads crashing your comedy podcast party? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Just head to amazon.com slash ad-free comedy to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads. Previously on Roll Britannia. You say that Governor spends all his time at the fort. Hasn't traveled back past the farm in a long time to get to his house. We used to all work in the mine since that closed down by my grandpappy himself. That might be convincible to tell of a special way. What would encourage you? 500 gold pieces. Go down 400. <laughs> Gentlemen, do you have a decision? 400 right now, and my man Keth here will go out and rouse your troops. Goblins, you are the masters of this. I want you to pick those cranberries for your family, for your ancestors. Are you with me? Four guards to look in your direction. A girly voice and go, oh my god, help me, help So the distraction please. is being distracted with a distraction. Uh, my instinct is to attack. All the guards immediately turn. I'm going to involve Bill Snakespear. I would like to uh, attack Alan with a hand axe. <laughs> you pull your axe out, like spin round, kitchen. and bury it in his spine. Wait, <laughs> can we just let's have a moment? No one else needs to die. The guards yeah, say, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Kev, question. Is Bill Snakespear likely to have understood this temporary armistice? I think he's got a point to prove right now. Bill he's Snakespear has poisoned him. Little so. guys come good. Nah. One. Get an advantage. Mm. Bet it's going to be better yeah. than a nat one. No! Time. As you're trying to sneak oh, away, yeah. you trip. Your <laughs> plastic sheriff's badge lands awkwardly underneath you and snaps in two. I never thought I'd experience a man Shit. at his lowest point. All caught up? Good. Let's get back to the action. So, chip roll two natural ones on the bounce. In a row. <laughs> no! He had advantage in on a, a stealth row. roll, rolled a natural one, rolled again, and rolled a natural one. Oh, so he's dead then? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, he has got a bloody nose. I feel nose. dead inside, I'm not going to lie. I feel <laughs> he's got a bloody nose, because he, in, in attempting to stealth, he tripped over a tree root uh, oh, and no. fell fully prone. Bloodied his nose and snapped his plastic sheriff's badge. <gasps> Not the rusty sheriff's badge, it's gone forever. Uh, the plastic sheriff's badge is no more. And oh. he's also prone, so... Uh... <laughs> I bet the next time we go back to our goose, it's not going to be in stock. James genuinely looks a little bit gleeful at the face. I'm taking away that (laughs) fucking stupid thing. Every time. We will insist on using it in every conversation. (laughs) So, yeah, you are also prone, Jeff, which means that you have disadvantage against any melee uh, melee attacks um, against you, although you do have advantage against ranged attacks against you. Your movement, I think, is halved. Uh, or you can use your movement to stand up. And um, and in case you forgot, uh, your rusty sheriff's badge snapped in half. Yeah, and you've so lost you don't have that anymore. Because <laughs> even, if, even if you've got the two parts, no one's going to believe you have a sheriff's badge that's been glued back together. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sheriff would be so irresponsible? <laughs> no sheriff would ever let their badge get snapped in two and not get a replacement. Oh God! Oh, oh. I swear, you, like, I thing is, is ah, oh, I'm genuinely in a rage for it. me as Jeff. <laughs> I'm genuinely in a rage, but me as Jeff can't be in a rage. So it's like character. 
prevail. At this point, I'm I'm going to throw a childish tantrum, pick up my two halves of the sheriff's bag, and just get up and crawl the 15 feet that I'm now able to, having half my movement, as far as they'll let me. Uh, I mean, it's, you you very it's not much not my go. I know, crying. James. I know it's not my go. But that's what I want to do. <laughs> that's what I want to do when uh, so the last guard who uh, whose turn it is uh, has witnessed you attempt to <laughs> stealth fall flat on your face and is has fallen about laughing um, and that's why they rolled Same. a 10 when they tried to uh, Same. TBH. when they tried to fire a shot at you uh, in mm-hmm. fact at disadvantage uh, they rolled a three as well, so they really missed you. So good news, they tried to shoot at you and uh, failed. Some saving grace. <sighs> that brings us back to the top of the order. They, were, they probably felt sorry for me, in fairness. Everyone knows I mean, what they, it feels like to he be. Has, he is laughing at you badge. quite a lot. It was quite difficult for him to aim at you. But inside, he, he feels my pain, I'm sure. No. Everyone knows that. I'm sure everyone <laughs> no. listening at home will be no. able to feel... No. The same as I'm feeling about no. their rusty, their plastic sheriff's badge. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right, Keth, your go. Right. Fuck! As Keth <laughs> wipes a tear of pride that Bill has done such a good, unexpected job, I'm going to swing my musket slightly to the left and swing at the guy that Bill has taken that chunk out of. Okay. Take uh, roll to hit then, please. Oh. Normal service has resumed. That's a three. Um, so that's a five altogether. Yeah, no, that's not going to hit. So you no. uh, you fire off another shot and it goes clean over his shoulder and hits the hut uh, just behind him. That's a warning. <laughs> uh, again, this time I'm going to scuttle back another 10 feet to the right just to move my position to try and disorientate him a little bit. Fire a move, fire a okay. maneuver. Maurice, you're next. Looking at disbelief in uh, what's just happened with uh, Jeff <laughs> and having a little bit of a giggle at the same time, um, I'll whip up. <laughs> I'll whip up uh, my pistol. And... He's so angry. <laughs> He's so angry. Maris, I don't know if you. I don't know if you remember this, uh, but you can do magic. You know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. But I'm trying to fix be my conservative badge? and save thing. I don't have that sort of magic. You're gonna fire. Fine. Uh, roll to hit, then, please. Who are you aiming at? Are you aiming at the poisoned one? Uh, yeah, the one that uh, Keth just Crack missed. into it. Roll to hit. Come on. Let's get that D20 rolling. I didn't miss. I warned him. <laughs> Let's have DC a look. Rolling. They hate in the outcome. No, 19. 19 hits. Roll damage. 1D8. 1D8. Let's have a roll. So far. Now I know how you feel when you lost your beard, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it's tragic. Six. Hilarious. And I snapped that in two as well. <laughs> I know. How much? Got a, got a six plus two, so eight. Okay, he takes that shot uh, fully in the chest and uh, he starts bleeding quite a lot, but he is just about still standing. Uh, he looks pretty <sighs> bad off as your, uh, pi- as your pistol round fires through him and out the other side, spraying the... Uh, but itself with plenty of his blood and a big cry out from him. And up Poison. next is Derek. Derek. We've we've made a shitload of noise so far. That's the issue that we've currently got, isn't it? The noise. Uh, just describe what describe what I've seen. Since you ducked behind the tree, you poked your head out and yeah. you saw Jeff cry out and beg for calm. And just as <laughs> calm has just fallen a snake has flown out of the treetop <laughs> and bitten one of the guards on the face in a moment of panic these guards have Proud. rushed around and aimed all of their muskets up into the trees at which point seeing their momentary distraction jeff has attempted to leg it into the trees to get some <laughs> cover and fallen flat on his face smashing his nose against a tree stump blood starts <laughs> spurting from his nose Covered in blood Keth, and with mud a tear in his eye of pride at his snake's <laughs> actions, has fire has re, re-raised his musket. Bertha, I think the name was, oh, uh, mm-hmm. and aimed Bertha say, yeah. at the at the guards outside the hut. Fired a round off and missed wildly. At which point, <laughs> uh, uh, Malrus has 
uh, whipped his pistol at the hip again and fired a round off, hit the poisoned guard cleanly in the chest, spraying the hut with blood, and you have just witnessed this entire scene unfold in a matter of seconds. Yeah, lit- no, boom, 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 boom. Um, for one second, everything was fine. Armistice, we were all going to go about business. Next, blood, tears, snakes, everything. everything. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Proud. Uh, have they seen? Can they? Have they seen me? I mean, my stealth check wasn't great, but have they seen me? One of them super doesn't see you. The other one of them does see you. Oh, one of them does. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna say that uh, the one who super doesn't see you is the one that's got a hole in his chest. One of them just doesn't see and you, and the other one poison. does see you. Okay. Um, I would like to uh, fire. Um, I would like to pull out. Uh, um, not banger, huh? but my golden plated pistol right. that I called that I called Johnny Halfhead. Yep. <laughs> um, I'd like to fire that. Uh, at the guy that doesn't see yep. me, um, the leading one. Yep. Which, yeah. So that would be. Roll to hit. Um, that would be a sixteen. Uh, hits. Sorry, plus five. Yep. Plus f- that hits. Uh, that's super yes, hits. Yeah. So like a twenty. A twenty. That's super um, hits. Yeah. Uh, so that's one d six. That's uh with sneak attack so that's five points of damage um and then an, another four points of damage for sneak hey, where attack. Are you aiming so that's nine total um ah, just his head just okay you uh, his head where, where else would we be aiming? you uh yeah. step out <laughs> yeah. from behind the yeah. slightly too skinny tree yeah and raise the yeah. pistol to shoulder height and with a sort of gangster uh 45 degree turn on the just pistol it, yeah uh you fire this thing clean across the uh, sort of clearing, catches this guard square between the eyes and the back of his head just explodes. Brains, Um, white matter everywhere, all over this hut, all over one of the guards that was standing sort of (laughs) next to him as he was sort of trying to help him with this hole in his chest. Uh, This guy gets brain matter all over him. As as um, I blow this guy's brains out, I'd like to go. Um, look, we don't want to hurt the rest of you, but it seems like you're not in any position to bargain. Surrender, and we'll leave you alone. We just want some information. Okay. Look, we came here in peace. And Kess called off William at this point, yeah? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's mid-turn right now. The two remaining guards look at each other, one of them covered in the insides of their fallen comrade's skull. And I go, we're just trying to help. They give each we're other a monsters. fairly knowing look. And with that, well, one of them certainly drops their musket, the other one uh, still holding it. They turn on their heels and run in the direction of the hut or in the direction of the uh, town in the direction of the mm, let me sort of so where the hut is at the moment it's sort of uh back towards the cranberry farm and the jungle area okay so sort of where we came from yes back in that direction <laughs> hmm. let's raid their hut i holster johnny halfhead and i go well that went about as well as expected <laughs> Are we, are we going to try and capture any of them for info? Oh, that was my original, yeah. I was, uh, do you want to try and capture them, Jeff? Do you feel lucky? Not today, to be honest. I'm feeling a bit pissed off. I kind of want to rob all their shit. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, there's two dead ones to, there. Um, okay, I want to see if they've got any keys for their hut. Uh, the hut's not locked. Okay, I want to go in a hut. Okay. I don't care about the guys. I want the hut. <laughs> I'm going to call back in. I'm going to call Bill back in. I'd like to loot the pockets of the guys. Okay. Is that an investigation check? Or... Yeah, yeah, roll investigation. I'm going to loot the remaining guy. Okay, roll investigation. 17 plus 3, so 20 all in. Uh, okay. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Derek, the 19. guy you search... Derek, the guy you search, has a small knife on him. 
Uh, obviously, the nice. uh, sort of short sword thing that he had in his belt and the musket that was there um, is sort of laying by his side as well. Uh, they, they look like sort of... Any coins or anything? Uh, they look like sort of standard issue equipment. Uh, there are uh, a handful of gold pieces, not many. Um, cool. There's also a deck of cards, if you're interested. I'll, I'll take the deck of cards yep. and the handful of gold pieces. Okay. Um, I got 19 on my... 19 on your guy. This is the guy that's uh, had his brains blown out. And he <laughs> also has a handful of coins, although they are covered in blood. And he also has a small knife, a short sword, and a musket on him. Uh, no deck of cards with this guy, although he does uh, have a what looks like the wrapper to a sandwich in his pocket. <laughs> is it? Is it... Has it got a sandwich in it, or is it just an empty wrapper? Nope. It's an empty wrapper, although looking at it, you can see that oh, it was uh, turkey and cranberry. Of course <sighs> Look, of course he was a gambler, clearly, and I put him out of his misery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeff, uh, you wanted to search the security hut, yes? Yeah, well, one, I just want to point out, I've had the realisation why I probably got the two nat ones. Uh, I picked up the D20 from the... De- the, the, my old set of dice, which I've now thrown into the corner of the room. The dead, the set dead angry, set. anger, <laughs> the ones you did really badly with at the beginning. Yeah, twenty, and I pick it up and get two net ones, so they're dead. To me. Yeah, don't <laughs> use those again. Yeah. Um, so I've got my nice new green ones. Um, yeah, don't don't roll that d twenty again. Let's see see what happens with two this in one. A row. Um, so I'm I'm I, yeah two I think with newfound confidence, well, new f- f- feeling that I've lost my old confidence from my badge. I've got to create my own confidence. So. So I'll pick myself up and walk over to the door very confidently. Right, I'm going to have their shit and just open their door. Okay, you open the door and inside, it's a pretty standard looking security hut. I mean, there's a few chairs, there's a sort of window that allows the people inside to look out down, uh, have a decent view down the road. And there's a couple of bunks for the security to have a quick nap if they're on a long shift. There's a sort of hot plate in the corner and there's is there any like lockers or weapons closets or uh there are like a couple that? of lockers there there's uh, four lockers in can fact I loot them uh, uh can i check for any sort of like um logs comings goings like people that have been by the guard uh park? you can investigate that there is a uh, there is in fact a log book a guest book okay. as, of sorts uh, Nat twenty, by the way, just saying. Okay. Nat twenty. Yeah, you see, you find the lockers, and inside there's some personal effects, some shaving foam, a few bits and pieces, sort of normal. Now I'll get two of them in a row. No, no weapons. No <laughs> there's, gold. I mean, there's a standard set of short swords, uh, muskets, um, Musket, ammunition, that. all some, bits and pieces. Some super glue. <laughs> ammunition. <laughs> Specific. Uh, yes, typical sort of. We don't need ammo. You, you know, it, it's it's we. This podcast works on uh, Story two uh, works on two assumptions. It works on the assumed reload and the assumed eat. You will uh, any time, any time. Theoretically, you should be potentially having more ammo. I'm. A, I'm. Uh, we're we're just assuming that you have acquired more ammunition because it's really not interesting to to have no, to cool. think about ammunition and. And also, it's really not interesting to th- to have you have to go and eat all the time. Um. <laughs> Jay, uh, DM, I'm sorry. I just want yes. to quickly double check. One, d- don't suppose anyone's got any stats on a musket. And uh, I think Tom. Oh, I do. Yeah, one. Tom's got the stats. So. I'll send them over. Yeah, send, send them over, and then you'll have those stats. Are you taking one of the muskets then? Yeah, I want a musket. Okay, it's taking a musket. Fine. Uh, in the logbook, you say you're looking for. Uh, in the logbook, it's. Uh, doesn't seem to have very much activity of late. It doesn't. The dating system seems a bit erratic. It's very difficult to work out when things happen. There's lots of different handwritings in there, and uh, mm. it's very difficult to tell. Are there more? Go on. Are there more goings than there are comings? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <Okay. laughs> phrase. Yes. Yes, there are. There are more goings than there are comings. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. sure there's a uh, there... lads. It doesn't seem like uh, like many people are going up to the. Uh, the old house there. Why would they have four guards? It's probably then? worth a check out. 
We've got four guards on this. That's a good question. That is a good question. Yeah. Well, you'd have one guard if there was no one. Well, put it put it this way. You, you'd you still set an alarm on an empty house, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I'd set one. I would set an alarm, but I wouldn't set an alarm and, like, four other forms of CCTV footage plus a security guard. I'd have one alarm. Like, I'd have one guard just... man in a non-really man Look, road. Jeff. We know you've suffered a lot. And that is why you're not governor. <laughs> that's why your house got robbed. <laughs> yeah, that's why you've been kicked off the force. <laughs> just FYI for anyone listening, I've now upgraded my home security. I've got much more than just an alarm. The uh, roving dogs team is uh, now active, as are the laser and uh, shoot on sight snipers. <clears throat> Back to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you uh, appear to have cleared the security huts. Are you heading on up to the governor's house now? Yep. yep. Um, quick scan to to see if I can hear like any footsteps approaching us, any reinforcements coming, anything like that. I'd like to make a perception check. No, not that you, not okay. that you can hear. Are you walking up the rest of the driveway now, or are you still going to try and go cross country? I think we've sort of abandoned the stealth. If they don't I think know we're here by now. Yeah. Let's just go, yeah, let's, let's go. There's no one the here, <laughs> as we hope. Yeah. Okay, so, so you walk up the... this time, guys? Carolers? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sounds good. So as you walk up the driveway to the covered, governor's house... Covered in blood and gore. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite an imposing building, quite big. There's all those sort of columns and things. It's two stories, all the very, very tall windows made of a sort of white stone with a sort of semicircular set of round steps leading up to a huge double front wow. door. That's a big one. Nice place. I think you should knock, Jeff. I, I've, to be honest, lads, I've lost my confidence. <laughs> Fine, I'll knock. You didn't say that with much authority. Okay, and you're knocking on the door. You didn't say that with yeah. much faith. Let's knock on the door, see if there are answers. If not, let's go in. Yeah, you knock on the door and there's no answer. Turn the handle. Ah. You turn the handle to the door and it's open. <gasps> step inside. Yeah, you step inside <laughs> and you're in a very plush hallway with a sort of red carpet. And ahead of you, you can see uh, a huge staircase. So that's sort of the double staircase that joins in the middle and then goes up to the next level. Is it a tall ceiling? And you can see... Some big doors off to your left and big doors off to your right and some sort of opulent furniture. Mm. I'd like to put my hand on Keth's chest and just go, I've done this before, just follow my lead. Uh, and I'd like to move through the hallway. I want to look up and just go, hello. While he does that, I'd like to move through the hallway and just check for, check for traps. Uh, okay, roll... Um... I don't know what you roll to check for traps. What's a I mean? What investigation? Yeah, probably investigation. Let's try that. I'm assuming roll it's investigation. Got a tall ceiling here, then. Yeah, very tall. It's a double height yeah, space. I, as so. soon as I see that there's a tall ceiling, Jeff would instantly be, "Hello!" Ooh, and <laughs> some sort of echo <laughs> to test the fear. Uh, That's it. I, you can shake your head at me all you want, but that is a hundred percent what I would do. No, I'm just saying I got a nat one. Oh. <laughs> I'm like checking okay. the trap. Um, <laughs> I got a nat one. I've, I've done this before. Don't worry. I've got lots of experience doing this immediately. <laughs> the fuck's up? Uh, you're convinced that every single tread of the staircase is trapped. I, 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 would, I wouldn't step there if I were it just... Wait, I try one very gingerly <laughs> and then try another. <laughs> Spend about half an hour doing that. <laughs> absolutely convinced you are that uh, at any moment any step you tread on could uh, bring down the swinging axe blades and uh, uh, falling spike traps of uh, oh, the old uh, the old no obvious traps routine <laughs> yeah i've encountered this one before <laughs> whereabouts is the governor's office it's, it's uh, he actually has his office in the library so he's got a huge sort of library office space and where is said library uh, just down the hallway, in fact. If you've had a pamphlet then... with a little map on it, uh, it is. It's actually got a. It's got a map in the uh, in the entrance hall that says "You are here" and points uh, a little arrow uh, to the entrance hall. It's got a little map of the whole property. You can see the dining room on it, 
and it says, uh, it says the traps see, are here. This guy's yeah. got a terrible uh, memory. So the governor's sta- really on the staircase, memory. it just says trapped. Uh, you can see upstairs there are eight bedrooms. Um, you can see where the servants' quarters are. You can see where the cellar is with all the uh, with all the wine. And you can see, yeah, you can see his office slash library. Um, uh, can I right, take lads, where first? Derek and go to the library? Yeah. Take uh, me? Yes. I've been so useful <laughs> so far. <laughs> cellar? Kef? Definitely. I'll show you a thing or two. Come on, let's go. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, let's do... Let's go with uh, Jeff and Kef to the cellar. C- could we do the other ones? Because I only need the loot. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he says, okay. as he well, dances. Yes, we're splitting up. I can go... No, not yet. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Okay, right. We'll, we'll go with uh, Malrus and Derek then <laughs> off to the library slash office. As you enter the room, you can see it's a, an opulent, well-furnished, tidy room in good order. Uh, there's uh, bookcases lining every wall, apart from the main wall at the far end of the room, which has floor-to-ceiling windows with sort of French doors that open up into what you can see to be a, a well-cared-for garden. Um, actually, at the, uh, this end of the room, you can see there's a, uh, a piano, um, which... Is nice, and at the other end, by the windows, you can see a, a well-organized desk um, with some chairs in front of it, and a, a very luxurious-looking chair stationed behind the desk, as though someone would be prepared to work mm. there. This might be the nicest house I've ever been in without the owner's permission. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong. Same here. <laughs> what are we looking for, Belrus? Uh, take your I'm lead on this. I'm going to do an investigation check for anything that might be valuable, like safes hiding behind photographs or bookcases or secret passages or just anything that could be interesting. Um. Okay, roll a perception check for me. Okay. Uh, what's my perception? Plus two, that is 18. Okay, with an 18, you notice a couple of things. So you notice that this room is, although opulent and in good order and well-designed and just a very luxurious space, you do notice that actually it's it's quite dusty. It looks like... No one's been here for quite some time. It looks to you as though, really, it could have been months since anyone actually entered this room. And the other thing you notice is that pretty much every book on the shelves in this entire sort of library space is full of great works of literature from across the world. Fantastic novels and graphic arts and the histories of famous people and glorious, glorious tales of adventure, except for one book. One book stands out to you from the rest, and that is because this book is called Lockpicking for Dummies. Hey. And uh, it's on the sort of third shelf, about halfway along the, uh, the west wall of the uh, of the library um while he's checking uh the bookshelves and trying to find like secret passages and all of those kind of things uh, i'd like to have a look at the desk and see if there are any uh like uh, first i'd like to look to see if the papers are in disarray or um like just look around the room and see if there are any signs of a struggle when this place was left uh, no, the room looks absolutely pristine. Okay. Um, looking over the desk, is there anything related to... Can I do an investigation check maybe to see if like there's anything related to the fort, any um, communications that have come into the island, anything like that? Uh, you can't see a great deal on the desk. Anything that looks especially important. Uh, it all looks thing. just like typical writing paper, inkwell... Right. Quill. It just looks prepared. Anything that mentions the name Balon Park Tree? Uh, no, nothing at all. Okay. 
I, if it's okay, I'm going to go and try and get the uh, lock picking for dummies book off the shelf. As you reach up and grab hold of lock picking for dummies, there you try and pull it off the shelf and it doesn't actually come away. It just tips forward. <sighs> Uh, and as you do that, a whole section of the library bookshelf swings forward to reveal a hidden door. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what? Sorry, as I'm just immersed in like mundane correspondence. <laughs> what? Sorry, huh? <laughs> Over here, Derek. I found oh. a secret passage. Worst rogue ever. <laughs> <laughs> when the cleric finds the hidden door <laughs> just trash just utter trash um oh oh a hidden door is it uh lovely uh does it go looking through the passage does it go up or down uh, it's just a hidden room it doesn't it's not a passage anywhere it's, it's just, just a, a small room. hidden room uh with a few Ooh. with a few shelves inside and a few books and things definitely check this for traps okay yeah. uh roll in, roll investigation then uh that would be a um investigation plus three that's a 21 uh yeah there's no traps that you can see uh moving in what do we see Uh, like i said there's a few shelves in there there's a a small uh, a much more sort of basic looking table uh, and there's a few objects about the place and uh inside you'll see uh on the shelf there is uh, a set of coconuts uh, sort of cut in half and dried out. What and a hollowed. lovely bunch they are. <laughs> <laughs> There's a box of cereal. That's a big one. That's a a that one's simple... as big as your head, Belrus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a simple brass ring sat on the desk, and there's a couple of books that, that uh, just appear to be uh, financial logbooks, sort of uh, the the uh, finances of the governor's works of the governor yeah the brass ring intrigues me the most i think yeah i was gonna finch that well you can take whatever you want from the room uh what <sighs> sorry just quickly so it's very very hot and it's late um <laughs> quickly um what what was what was there again <laughs> uh so there was uh, a pair a set of sort of hollowed out half coconut shells sort of dried out okay. a pair of half coconut shells string? uh no string just the uh, just the hollowed out halves of a coconut, a box of cereal uh, on which is written fruit rings. We're not uh, 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 and a brass ring. <laughs> We're not uh, and a simple brass ring. Yeah. Can, um, can I take the coconuts? Please? Yes, you can. The coconuts are the coconuts of low budget travel. They are a set of hollowed out really coconuts. Nice that can be clapped together, creating the sound of a horse. Uh, They add 15 feet to your movement speed, although moving any distance over your standard speed will require banging the halves together, so stealth rolls will be at disadvantage. (laughs) That's amazing. (laughs) I'd like to take the brass ring. Okay, you pick up the brass ring, and uh, on closer inspection, you see this is the the ring of magical bureaucracy. (laughs) When casting a spell... Uh, while wearing the ring, the caster can choose to cast it without using a spell slot. However, the player must roll 3d4 and a huge number of forms and pages of T's and C's to be completed, signed and initialed in triplicate (laughs) will appear uh, that must be completed before the spell is cast. This will occupy the caster for the number of turns equal to the roll. Incredible. Um, I would like to uh, uh, go... Um, oh, this ring looks sort of magical. Uh, Balrus, uh might be more suited to you, to be honest, mm-hmm. mate. Do, do, do you want the coconuts? Should we trade? Oh, oh, wow. I'll take the coconuts off your ads if you're up for it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, again, I don't. They're just coconuts to me. I don't really see the value in them. But if you insist, they might come in handy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we'll swap, and then I think we'll pick up the um, cereal boxes. Okay, the box of uh, fruit-flavoured cereal called Fruit Rings, and they say on the box, they're a delicious way to start the day. Uh, and when you pick the box up, it's slightly heavier than you expect a box of cereal to be. 
And when you give it a shake, you can hear something quite heavy sort of moving around in the box. There must be a prize. <laughs> Gotta be. I tip, tip it out. Okay, so you tip it out and cereal goes absolutely everywhere. All those delicious fruit-flavoured rings uh, are all over the floor. And with a, a loud clatter, a small iron key also drops onto the floor. Ooh. <laughs> oh hey, it's me, James. Just pausing for a quick second for a few quick messages, then I promise we'll be right back to find out what happens next. As always, I want to say a massive thank you from all of us for taking the time to listen to Royal Britannia. We know there are a lot of choices out there, so thanks for giving ours a go. And if you are enjoying it, why not hit subscribe and leave us a review? Hmm? Reviewing our podcast helps us stand out from the crowd and tells other people like you that our show is worth a listen. Plus, it gives us a warm, fuzzy feeling. And that's good. One of the things that we've discovered since being part of this amazing world of podcasting is the community that makes up this D&D podcast world of ours. And it is just amazing the support and interaction we get from absolutely everyone as part of this world. So as a sort of thank you, we wanted to share with you a promo for one of our favourite podcasts, obviously apart from our own, uh, that's out there. This is from a group called A Fool's Quest, and they are absolutely hysterical. They've got a really fresh and interesting approach to using music and sound effects as part of their show, and the comedy and writing within it is just spot on. So take a listen to this, and then we'll get back to the show. All right, cheers. What would you do if I told you that the world is not what it seems? You're telling me that potato salad is the key to other worlds. Ha! Huh, it's not even the best side dish. And people are not who they appear to be. I don't know that we can trust Master Gouche. Well, I know for damn sure we can't trust Charles Edward Cheese. My name's not Mike. Where puns run rampant through the streets. The Global Adventurers Guild Master Enterprises will not stand for this. Well, it's gag me for sure, so I'm pretty sure they take everything on their knees, don't they? And it's hard to tell who the real monsters are. Well, yeah, it's a mimic, but I'm Francis the Lion. Three heroes. You have my sword. You have my kazoo. Oh god, my hip. Face off against three villains. Never again will they enslave me. We'll make damn sure of that. I'm Francis the Lion. We, we know. know. To keep the world of Euphray from ripping apart. This damn portal won't close. We tried turning it off and back on again. And Tim and Terry from getting even more screwed. They're totally werewolves. Yep, they're definitely werewolves. Holy shit, those guys are werewolves. Welcome to A Fool's Quest. A Fool's Quest can be found on all major podcasting platforms simply by searching A Fool's Quest. Anyway, thanks again for listening. Let's get back into it. While you're contemplating what to do with all your, all your new goodies and uh, the mess you've made, let's hop over to Jeff and Keth, uh, who've wandered into the cellar. Oh, okay, what do we see? How many rows of wine bottles do we see? Well, you see more rows of wine than Keth, the half-orc, is able to count. To. <laughs> you quite literally have never seen so much wine in one place. You are right, Keth? I need to sit down. This is possibly the best day of my life. Not only, not yeah, only I mean. has the boy managed to actually do something for once, I've seen all the wine in the world. I need, I need to sit down just for a minute. It's too good. This day's been too good. I'm, uh, I'm while well, Kef's having his little happy breakdown, mm-hmm. um, I, I'm going to. Is the uh, is the cellar well lit? Can I have a look? Is is it sort of? Is there a light that we've turned on, or are there torches on the walls, or is it generally visible? It's not lit at the moment, but there are lanterns available down there to light should you have the ability to do so. Um, so can I uh, whip out my tinderbox? Yeah, of course you can. I'm whip out my tinderbox and I'm going to find the... Uh, um, there's, I'll look around to see if there's a torch that I can see, maybe an unlit torch on the wall. Or there's lantern. a lantern right by the door. So Sound. I'm yep. going to light the lantern using my tinderbox. Yep. Bring it up and yep. start making my way... 
into the cellar, uh, just like a couple of steps, okay. just to sort of see if by holding out the lantern. Whoa, look at that. Look at that, the light. Whoa, whoa, where's the lantern gone? There we go. Um, mm-hmm. Holding out the lantern a little bit. Um, it would, you know, give me a little bit better visibility of anything in the room other than wine. It's just wine. It's a cellar. Sound. Well, I keep other things in my cellar, but don't tell the police. Um, <laughs> yeah. The best The best bottles are the dustiest ones. Let's find the dustiest ones. They're the oldest ones and the best. Let's go get them. Old and dusty. Okay. Like the way. Before I go anywhere creepy, though, I like to have a little look around beforehand. So can I check to see if there's any traps in an old, dusty cellar? Yeah, feel free. Roll investigation. Uh, investigation. Da, 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 da. 17. Yeah, there's no traps that you can see. Sound. Uh, I'm going to confidently walk to the next lantern and start lighting all the lanterns in the room. You do that. Excellent. Keth, right. There, there's lots of lanterns lit. I'm, now, now you can see fully the gravitas of this situation. I want to uh, check on... The, w- w- I want to get some bottles of wine then. I'm going to go and look for some really old dusty bottles of wine, um, find some dusty old bottles of wine and start putting them in my okay. bag. Roll perception then, I guess. Natural. To see na- if you can find... Natural one, natural one, natural one. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, you pick up a bottle of vinegar. <laughs> And drop it. <laughs> no, no, Check no, this you out. Want one. Drop it. <laughs> you want one of these, and I'll go to grab a really old, nice, dusty one. So, so I roll as well, so we can find the nice bottle. Uh, yeah, please. Seventeen. Yeah, you find some good wine. Ooh, have some of this. It's from a good year. Having... It's a good vintage. Mm. Um, is it made of bat? Uh, no, it's not bat wine. It is regular wine. Um, <gasps> the good stuff. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, not milk. I'm not I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've got a couple of good bottles. Um, how many? How many bottles are you taking? I uh, eight, eight for me. I'm going to fill my flagon. I'm going to fill my huge flagon with one of them. Just so we've got that there, just in case. And okay. then shove the rest yep. in my bag. Yep. What else have we got? We've just got loads of bottles of wine. Okay. You can see everything else. There's not much else in here. So you're a, you're a small off license now. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's more. I guess there's more wine, I, isn't there? There's more wine. Kef. Oh, there's literally thousands of bottles of wine. Sound right? Okay, I'm going to go to a, a different end of the room. Kef, I'm going to be back. Just give me one second. I'm going to go to a far end of the room, and I'm just going to have an unleashed rage room session with bottles of wine in anger at losing my sheriff's badge, and just start <laughs> yanking bottles of wine, smashing them on the floor, walls throwing them against other bottles, just a mad, rage-filled smash session. Okay. Smash. Uh, You throw... a good uh, 40 or 50 bottles of wine uh, around the place. There is lots of broken glass, uh, red and white wine everywhere. I mean, you've you've committed the sin of smashing good wine and mixing red and white <laughs> yeah, at the same time. Back. It's uh, just a, a terrible thing has occurred. I mean, um, not meanwhile, in the background, Keth is very carefully selecting, looking at uh, looking at good bottles, con- considering them, comparing, going mm, maybe this one, maybe that one, putting a few back and going, well, actually, I'll have another one of these, maybe this one. And you see him just carefully decanting a few in the background while you're ferociously hurling these <laughs> at the wall in anger. As I walk uh, back, and yeah, as I walk back, I find the dust. I, I look at the dustiest bottle I can find and just walk up to Keth and say, "See that? Point to the massive, mess of wine broken bottles down there. See the bottle? Smash it on the floor and just go. That's how I felt, and walk off up out the cellar." Because that's how I felt when I lost my badge. Just heartbroken at the <laughs> visible <laughs> destruction of something beautiful that you used to have the uh, capability of having. I'll just stand there. Kef just stands there agape. So you've got yourself some wine now. Your wine is worth... Ooh! Goodness me. 1,060 gold pieces. Oh, Your whole shit. collection is worth... <laughs> How far, how much did I just smash? That's amazing. That's the most expensive rage room ever. Uh, 
Uh, oh. You smashed 37,000 golds worth of wine. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, that, I'm happy Christ. with that because that is an approximate gold equivalent of how much I feel that that share badge was worth to me. I know Wasn't it, your sheriff's badge worth like 200 gold? Yeah, it was, it was not a lot. It was not a lot in our goose at all, but <laughs> its its affection had grown on me. It, it's uselessness. It should have had so much power, and it was just shit. It's its one job. Okay, right. Uh, so swinging back over so now much. to Derek and Maurus. Are you hopping back out of your uh, secret room back into the library slash office? Are you um, having any more of a look around the house? Force... or? Yeah, I'd like to have. I just before we leave uh, again, look for any important documents that might illuminate, um, you know, why the governor's left and all of that kind of stuff. Just the financial logbooks for for the governor's business. Um, nothing, nothing too dramatic. Money in, money out. You know. Yeah, mostly money in. Yeah. Uh, scanning through those. Um, okay, mostly money in. That's a good sign. Um, scanning through those, is, there's a nothing like a miss. There's nothing that I, with my particular skill set, would notice. Uh, not with your particular skill set, no. <laughs> okay. What about with my particular <laughs> skill set? Uh, yeah. Are you an accountant? No. <laughs> no, then. <laughs> but, I, but I know things. Okay, roll like uh, roll an intelligence check, then. In a Dungeons and Dragons game, that's amazing. Yes, it's the biggest, it's the biggest twist ever. <laughs> Roll intelligence. Where's, where's intelligence? Ah, there we Very go. Very bad so intelligence. He's actually missed, he's missed tax payments for the last four years and so therefore has justification to get a 16. warrant for the fort and therefore we can storm it easily because he's mispaid his tax. <laughs> if, a, if only we had... If only we had a sheriff oh, or some fuck sort you of dirt. authority. <laughs> we can't make the legal. Uh, so, what was the wrong Maris? Al Capone 16. has got away. Sixteen? No. I can't. It just not a chance. Near as successful okay, as last then. time. Oh, wait. It's all Greek to you. Uh, okay. Does anyone speak Greek? Yeah. So uh, I guess uh, with that, we just we'll just head should back we, out. Should we head to it. the cellar? You meet back up in the front hall. And uh, yeah, uh, see, G- see Jeff absolutely covered in wine. stinking of wine. <laughs> yeah, mm. oh, we found a excellent little. I mean, Malrus found an excellent little, uh, you know, hidey hole that had some nice things in it. What about you? Good time. I found an excellent vintage that had a, a smashing time. You want to see how much wine there is Amazing. down there? I can't carry any more. Oh, well, uh, uh, Derek excitedly runs down to the cellar. Okay, you're going to grab some wine as well? Yeah, I'd like to just grab whatever I can carry. Uh, Okay, roll roll perception. Can I go and grab a few dusty bowls as well? Yeah, roll perception. I have taken one. Uh, 16 all in. 16 all in? Yeah, same. Uh, 16 all in. Okay. Um... Yours are worth 28,000 gold. <laughs> you can pay yeah. for the next adventure, Keth. <laughs> uh, okay, between you, you managed to you managed to grab uh, a full... Uh, very quickly, between you, you managed to grab 12 bottles of uh, pretty good-looking oh, wine. Um, so however you want to divide that up between you. Split it. I mean, you are all clinking quite a lot yeah. now. You, say, you, you are, are they all literally are they sound like in you. their bags, or have they got those like nice sturdy yep. plastic carry cases from Tesco? A lot of Waitrose, yeah. you know. The, <laughs> like, yeah. Just take those two cases of those down there. We're not unless savage. you guys have got bubble wrap. cardboard affairs. Yeah, unless you've got bubble wrap or <laughs> underpants, you guys are fucked carrying them. Do yeah, you want to stick some in my bag? Now. Does anyone want to stick any wine in my bag? I'm happy to look after it for anyone who so doesn't smash. Uh, I sigh heavily and I how much are the bottles worth <laughs> uh, do that first no, your, your first. bag is full of bitterness we, no more room for anything else looks like you're uh, carrying a lot of baggage there Jeff uh, okay you've actually managed to you've managed to grab uh, 1,040 golds worth of wine fuck so <laughs> shall we split the bottles uh, three ways Yes. <laughs> I think, yeah. Yeah, I'll take two. Ooh. Oh, no, hold on. It was 12, yeah. right? So I'll take... 
Well four. done. Uh, yes, Alex. Taking four each. Good. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll take four each. You can split that however you like. That was, okay. What was, what was the amount again? Uh, 1,040. Three, yeah, 333. Um, and then... But the bottles aren't necessarily all worth the same amount, so... Oh, it's true. How much are my two bottles worth? Three, four bottles worth, James? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you do that, okay, you do that in your fine. own time. You work that uh, out between it's you. Roughly, we'll it's roughly later. 340 gold. Yeah, call it that. So, worth of wine. what's next, guys? Are we? Are you going to head somewhere? Let's uh, let's keep the game. Uh, up, upstairs. You're upstairs. going upstairs? Okay. Yeah. Uh, upstairs, there are mm-hmm. eight bedrooms, as you saw on the uh, tourist information board on your way in. <laughs> it's Isn't it weird that they have tourist information for a uh, private residence? That's very odd. <laughs> Uh, well, you you divine from that that the governor gets lost in his house a lot. Should we do four each? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, two two bedrooms each if it's eight bedrooms, right? Yeah, there is. Yep, could stick together in pairs. Just so, in case. yeah, quick investigation. Can you all just roll case. investigation then? Fifteen. Uh, uh seventeen. 15. Fourteen. Okay, eighteen. Maurus, you actually, you find what appears to be the master bedroom. Mm. Uh, to you, uh, it seems like uh, the the place where the governor would sleep. It's got a big four-poster in it, uh, a chamber pot, and a number of other uh, bedroom uh, accoutrements. Stains. Uh, I do like that word. It sounds nice on the tongue. It's got a good mouthfeel. Uh, yeah, some suspicious stains on the Ooh. sheets. And, <laughs> no, and... Dirty governor. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, the bed sheets are all crispy. Um, there's a white sock just uh, just poking oh, up the, the, silk the bed. It's dry and stiff. Stiff, 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 as stiff as a board. Yeah. Uh, rigid enough to kill someone with. Um, <laughs> Good one as a teenager. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he was one. God, how old is that sock? <laughs> you don't want to know. And yeah, like with all the other rooms in the house, it's very well uh, presented, very well maintained, but under a thick layer of dust mm. like no one has been there in a long time i think their maids can need fire roll for secret passages again yeah you can roll what was it from before i can't remember yeah roll an investigation again i suppose 15 yeah you have a look around you can't see anything that sort of stands out that might be a access to a secret passage so so it's all the whole house is like neat but hasn't been touched in a while. Very, very neat, very well presented, but... So it seems like he left of his oh, own a show home. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's his spare house. Mm. Hence the pamphlet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hence the tourist information it's board the, at the front door. It's the show home for the gated community, guys. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> uh, any ideas, lads? Uh, I don't think there's anything Anybody want to come here. and poke no, around found... in the master? I was gonna ch- Can I check another room? I'm going to check another room. I'm going to check this room first, lads. I mean, you've all checked oh, yeah. all the rooms. We've done all the upstairs, we've done the library. In, in, so we've um, checked all the bedrooms between you. Mm-hmm. Done the uh, cellar. Looking, <laughs> looking for important documents in the master bedroom then, again. Uh, okay. Uh, the uh, only document you can find is his diary. Because apparently he's a 14-year-old girl from the 90s. Um well, hence the sock. No, it <laughs> no, doesn't really work. That doesn't really work. Uh, never mind. <laughs> no. Oh, that's an image. Just grab through the mechanics. Um, yeah, I'm going to. I'd like to look through the diary. Then. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't, don't, work, don't, does it? don't commit any brain cells um, to it. Keep it family friendly. Come on. <laughs> yeah, because um, this podcast has been family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have said fuck um, for ages. Yeah, just, just, uh, I want to read through the diary then. <laughs> You're live on Channel yeah, 4. Oh, Please don't go. say fuck or bugger. <laughs> fuck. Um. What what does his diary say? Uh, the whole thing. <laughs> what, do you want to open the it to whole, a random no, page thing. or from page one? Uh, turn to I the would last. Like turn to, to the last. I would like to. Yeah, turn to the last page. Yeah. Uh, okay, you turn to the last page, and the page reads. <clears throat> it starts with a cough. Uh, <laughs> how's that spelt <laughs> when we read it? <laughs> it says, "I've made the deal." It took a long time to decide, but the only way it will work is if I do as he says. <sighs> They'll hate me for it, 
but it's the only way. And that's it. Um, going back through the diary, is there anything that I can glean from the he that he's talking about? Is there any mention of... As you're looking through, he does mention a he quite a lot, but uh, it's never given by name, no description is given. given. Name. Did it, did it, is there any point it that you can like, see that uh, it starts? It... Like when the, the he starts? Uh, the first mention of him that you can see uh, comes a uh, little over a year ago. Inside the back cover, is there a number or um, a contact the context for that? information yeah, for the notes e? section? Maybe an address? For, for a good time call. <laughs> I was thinking more of a code or... Uh, yeah, the ISBN Some number. passwords, um, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's got the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi code. God, that takes me back. Excellent. The, I, the ISBN <laughs> number. <laughs> um, uh, in the, when he starts being mentioned, what's the context for that? Uh, the context is a new acquaintance. Okay. Someone who right. excites the governor. Really? Ah. Yeah. So it was a year um, ago. What happened a year and ago? It says everybody on the island. Everybody on the island has told us that the governor's in the fort. Um, who runs the fort? Uh, be the governor. <laughs> Whoa, governors! Who the they run the. <laughs> <laughs> It all sounds a little bit ominous. It does sound sketchy. Um, What's the key for? What are we thinking, guys? What's the key we for? A, yeah, I feel like there's point. more to this good question. Is there an have attic we seen... roof? Yeah. Like an attic door we can see? Can I look up? I'm going to roll to look up. I'm, I'm just going to look. <laughs> can you look up? Can I look up? <laughs> roll to look up. Natural one, genuinely. For <laughs> fuck's no, yeah. you're next you're next you die, you leave the podcast forever. You look down. <laughs> <laughs> no, he stays on, but he's just paralyzed. No, you uh, you look up so much, you fall over backwards like one of them penguins when the plane flies over. Hey, do I notice anything when I'm on my back? And did you actually Get roll in. the one? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you take oh, three bludgeoning damage. No, I mean... Uh... No, I mean, it wasn't entirely one. And you're on your ass again. Okay. Ace. If I take three bludgeoning damage, I'm generally in need of potentially some repair. Uh, Derek gives a quick sniff and smells the wine and goes, ah, oh, he's out of it. A bit too much. <laughs> um, ch- yeah, checking for attic. <laughs> checking for attic. Do I see anything when I'm on my back, when I fall on my back? Like uh, an attic door, maybe? The ceiling. <laughs> the ceiling is, is what you see. And uh, some little there, some yeah. stars and some birds going round yes. in a little circle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are there are there any doors in the house that we haven't um, been able to get into, or like that we've passed that we haven't opened, other than bedrooms and none that you've tried? I mean, you've not tried going into the servants' quarters, the dining room, or the kitchens. Uh, you say all we have map. a map, servants' quarters <laughs> that we can there, actually then. see. Uh, yeah, it was the uh, the tourist information board at the front door. We told I you can't. This. I told you there's a tourist information sign at the front okay. door. Can I go back to the yeah. tourist information and trace the map so I have a, vi- a portable version? I'll pick him up and just chuck him back on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> just take the thing with sake. It's enormous, like at the zoo. I didn't realise this was the episode of Visual Aids. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> sake. Lads, oh. I've Ooh. traced a map. Oh, that is fancy AF. <laughs> So the room with the giant rug, is that the... Uh, that's the office the library, square? yeah. That's the office library. Yep. And then there's the dining room. Yep. And the kitchen, the kitchen. just off that. And then the long room, is that the servants' quarters? Uh, the that? long room next to the library is the secret room that you uncovered. It's a secret room. Yep. Bedrooms. Okay, so I think servants' quarters then. Okay. Uh, I mean... It seems I'm the just most gonna, likely yeah, place for something on. to be hidden. You go and check out the servants' quarters. Yep. Let's do it. Go, go, okay. go. Yeah. Open the door. You open the door and that's the servants' quarters. You found it. Yay! Checking for any secret doors. Okay, roll investigation or perception. <laughs> oh, that is an eight. Yeah, no, Solid that's... Solid eight. Yeah, no, none that you can see. <laughs> well, nothing. Literally here. worst rogue <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's terrible. So, so far, we've got the worst rogue, can't find any hidden things. The worst cleric, never buffs or <laughs> heals anyone. 
Maybe we should swap, Belrus. <laughs> <laughs> the amateur accountant. An, an orc and a ranger who only recently has acquired a, a, a creature who's capable of doing things. Just at the wrong yeah. times. Yeah, but just at the exact wrong moment. <laughs> things are going well. I'm the only decent one here. Come on, guys. <laughs> Possibly the worst. You're the one that keeps player. falling over and hurting yourself. Yeah, so, but, but also we've been not been told what your class is. Ooh. I'd like to say the only person that's taken any damage in this whole recording session is is Jeff, and Jeff all 100 percent of it was done to yeah. himself. Yeah. yeah, out of honesty. Um, well, I'm seeing nothing, basically. <laughs> Just, oh, this looks nice. I think. Oh, I think I, I'd, I'd live here if I was a seven. I think it was a seventeen. Seventeen. And you find the servants' quarters, and there's no hidden things that you can see. On to the next area, then. Dining room. Can I check the servants' quarters for any, like, um, <laughs> lockers, hidden stuff? No, there's no lockers. <laughs> Just so you know, there's no bonuses for 100% map completion. Just so you know. <laughs> We're looking for a door. Just a thought. Could could this key open the, the door to the fort? Ooh. Or a secret hidden door in a mine shaft? Does it say fort on the key? Has it got a tag? A little paper label. Yeah. Is there anything in the diary referencing the key? There's no paper labels and there's nothing in the diary that suggests what a key hidden in a cereal box would be for. Dungeon Master, what does the key look like? It looks like a a, a small iron key. (laughs) Does it have four engraved onto it? (laughs) (laughs) For the viewers at home, there is so much rage... (laughs) Coming off the dungeon master now. <laughs> Does it have fort engraved on it? No, it doesn't have oh, the fort use me engraved on it. No. <laughs> it's just an iron key. Very, very briefly scanning, just because, you know, Derek wouldn't want to <laughs> leave that's... without checking everything. Of course everything. he wouldn't. Just very briefly scanning the kitchen and the thing. Kitchen and the dining room, nothing in there, I suppose. Uh, in the kitchen, uh, it looks very clean, very tidy, but again, a little bit dusty. And uh, the dining room table looks like it's set for dinner. Um, but again, with food, just under oh, a thick layer of dust. That is so creepy. All the plates and cutlery and glassware it's and so everything. Creepy. We're terrified, James, <laughs> of just walking out of here and miss something glaringly obvious. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're terrified we of. We didn't ever ask yeah. about the secret door within, within the our room, wheelhouse. Within the mm. dining room. That's what we're all scared of. They're like, there's no traps in Dungeons and Dragons, but I gave you everything and you walk straight out the big house. That's what we're scared of. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cool. I mean, Derek uh, ha- uh, takes his uh, hands in his pockets, lights up a cigar. I'm ready to leave whenever you are, lads. Yes. There's nothing here. Cool. I think we head to the mines and end up into the fort. If that is a way. I think while we go down to the mines, it, it, you know, if that's the plan, um, maybe we just are somebody in town like what happened a year ago did things change a year ago you know with the information that we've got did you take his diary or did we just read it <laughs> no. Oh, no I took it of course you did <laughs> right you're heading into yeah. town then <laughs> very quick question have we not heard from Nancy yet Derek have I heard from Nancy yeah. yet no, no, you haven't. Do you want to? <laughs> do you want to give her a bell? Nah, mate. Nancy, come in, Nancy. Over. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Hello, dear. Um, just quickly checking. You haven't heard anything from the competition, have you? Oh no, my love. They haven't done the draw yet. Oh right. Um. So, what time do they do the draw? Uh, last thing on the Balon Park Tree Show, my love. Uh, how long have we got before then, roughly? Uh, about uh, about three hours. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> We've still got a while, lads. That's fine. <laughs> you fellas okay? Over. Uh, yeah, Nancy, can't, <laughs> can't talk right now. Um, see you soon. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Just fucking put it okay, in my pocket. Okay, hang up button on the stove Over. Da- Nancy, Nancy. Uh, please, uh, we're trying to be professionals here. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Sorry, my lovey. Over. 
Ask her about this sock that we found. Right, we go back into town then, lads. Wor- worth a shot before we break into the fort, eh? Oh, Nancy. Hello, my um, lover. Uh, Nancy, <laughs> over. Um, you don't know, but being, you know, uh, a bartender and a bar owner, you hear a lot of gossip. You don't know anything about something that happened a year ago with with the governor, do you? Uh, over. It's about a year ago. He started spending a lot more time at the fort. Uh, that's the only difference. He used to only visit really like once once a week or so, but he started going there every day. Uh, oh, and that's when Balon started running the prizes to get him oh, right. to the, the, <laughs> the gated community. That's when he started that. About a, So did he run a show before then? Or oh, the was show like... was running, but he used to run different prizes. He used to win all sorts of things, but mostly you win entry to the gated community now. Right, uh, thank you, Nancy. Um, love you, kiss, kiss, bye, bye, over. I uh, love you too, lovey, over. Let's <laughs> put that away. <laughs> um, right, lads, uh, f- that's fucking weird. I guess four. You really it is. know how to toy with Nancy's heart, to the don't you, Derek? Like one minute, I please do, keep the line indeed. clear, shut up, and next minute, oh, love you. <laughs> look, mm-hmm. come on, man. Yeah. Like, uh, look, sort it out. I can't. I can't find traps or secret <laughs> doors. Why do you think they call me a rogue? <laughs> oh, right, oh my God. let's go to the fort <laughs> via the mines. Um, yeah, amazing. Wow. Yes. Are we heading to the fort? Are we heading uh, to the yeah via the mines. The mines. Yeah. Okay. As you <laughs> yeah. uh, walk down to uh, down to the town and towards the mines as you are walking through three angels swing around the corner and approach you all and say uh, hello guys how are you have you entered a competition yet yeah we have yes hi we're doing well you have fantastic um just on our way to the uh, town we're heading back to all the sort of nancy's um where are you coming from uh just a little bit of sightseeing we just went for a walk, don't worry. A uh, cranberry farm we went to. Cranberry uh, farm? They're good up there, aren't they, them goblins? Yeah. Talented. Quite something. Good at crushing and stuff. They're oh. working harder than ever. After someone had a Derek. word with them. <laughs> <laughs> Derek shuffles his feet and like kicks some dust and like looks at the crowd. So you weren't up at the gated community then? Where's that? Uh, we, uh, what gives you that I idea? I think we may have gotten, I think we may have gotten turned around or something, but uh, oh, was that we were that, looking for the cranberry that, farm. That, that, that thing near the cranberry farm, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that long uh, So we were told, some angels told us uh, that we could go there, so we, we diverted and eventually found it. Uh, yeah? Got a bit mucky. Is that so? Don't worry about all this red. Don't worry about all that. That's just cranberry juice. Don't worry. Don't, 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 that's, you know, it's fine. And you haven't yeah. been to the governor's house then? No, nope, just an alcoholic. I'm young. I like drinking wine. We've got a bit of wine. No. <laughs> Roll deception. Whip out your badge. Oh, oh. I got a plus. Guys. No way. Guys. Like, <laughs> to make me um, On podcast. I got a plus eight. Uh, that's a 19. 19. Mm. I got 18. 18? Oh dear. Look at his smug dungeon master yeah. face. Oh, tells me this is not going to go well. <laughs> they don't believe you. You see... <laughs> they fucking see you. They fucking see you. <laughs> While your words are convincing... There's something very odd that's going on. These angels that you see before you that are wearing these red hooded robes and look beautiful and carrying clipboards are somehow changing. The vision before you seems a little different. You can't really... There's not something visual changing it's just what was soft and beautiful seems to gradually become sharper and 
angrier and taller and broader. I'll have what she's had. And these <laughs> angels you see before you that you believe to be Azamara, which are a kind of blessed half angel people, seems to be changing and morphing before your eyes without ever actually being different. It's almost as though these things that you're seeing before you were always what they are now becoming and had never been what you saw them as. And before you now stands three angry looking half demons oh. in battle armor. And roll initiative. Now young Jeff has found himself in a rage that far exceeded his apparent age. An arrow through the guards into the jungle flat, our heroes proceeded to pillage their shed. Something that they did once more when they reached the governor's manor. But what does the governor's diary mean? And what dangers do the angels bring? And now off to the mines will things get creepier? Find out next time on Roll Britannia. Sports Social Podcast Network. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandsLots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.